The double burden of infectious disease and diabetes is an emergent problem in the world. We now have 380 some million, excuse me, people in the world with diabetes, and these numbers are supposed to increase by about 55% in the next couple of decades. So this, coupled with the continued problem of infectious disease in lower and middle income countries, is really going to be a problem that we're going to have to address. There are a number of risk factors that are shared between diabetes and infectious disease, and these are things like tobacco smoking, alcoholism, poor nutrition, and so clearly these are being addressed and will help. But it's also important to understand the interactions between infectious disease and diabetes and to try to address any risk factors that affect one and the other. In terms of infectious disease that increase diabetes risk, the most important association probably is that of viruses with increasing type 1 diabetes. And so although the fraction of diabetes that's associated with type 1 diabetes at this point is low and is low in lower income countries, it's likely going to increase as these countries improve their hygiene, begin to develop, and again, there's this association with viruses. So understanding that association between viral infection and especially type 1 diabetes is going to become more and more important. In regards to the association of uh, infectious disease or increased risk of infectious disease with diabetes, the major example is tuberculosis. So people with diabetes have twice the risk of mortality with tuberculosis. They have four times the risk of recurrence of TB if they have diabetes. Uh, it's thought that around four times the risk of developing tuberculosis to begin with. So clearly this is an important risk and lower income developing countries are going to have to be able to address both the risk of diabetes and the risk of tuberculosis going forward.